I'm not going to give it a prompt and I'm going to hit generate. Okay. And this is the most annoying thing ever. Like what guideline am I breaking here? All right, guys, so let's quickly remove all of these distractions, uh, this outside part, and try to let generative AI do its thing and fill in this background for us, right? So I want to I wanna give it a decent you know, selection to work with, so maybe I just kind of come here, and I want to select all the stuff that I don't want, right? So it's all this stuff around the edges that I do not want, and I'm going to come in here, and I'll go right here. This could be a problem. I don't know. Generative AI fill me understand hopefully what I'm trying to do okay so I've got the outside part selected and I want to keep all of this and I want it to hopefully you know clean it up for me so I'm just going to hit generative AI fill I'm not going to give it a prompt and I'm going to hit generate okay and this is the most annoying thing ever like what guideline am I breaking here it's just it's so frustrating. I, you know, I get it. You know, my knee jerk reaction is, you know, this is bullshit. Look at this. I'm showing shoulders, arms, a head and feet. Come on. Um, you know, I want to complain. I want to write letters. I want to send emails. I want to do all this stuff. But usually your knee jerk reaction is not the response that you want to provide people. It's an emotional response. You don't want to react to those emotional responses. Just a little bit of advice. Don't ever write an email, a letter, uh, call someone when you're mad, wait till you've given it some time, wait till you've calmed down your thinking level headed. You can provide a rational response, not based in emotion. Okay. Knee jerk reaction is always going to get you in trouble. Maybe not always, but most of the time, um, you think about it later and you're like, yeah, I could have maybe, um, brought it down a little bit and reacted a little more rationally. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to the tutorial at hand. So how do we get around that error? How, how do we do this? I could go back and do the old school way and come back here and do this. Shift F5, content aware, hit OK, and let it fill it in. It looks okay. There's some stuff down here I'm going to have to fix later. I can keep doing that all the way around, right? Um, but that's, I wanted to do one selection and generative AI fill and have it just do it for me, right? All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get around these restrictions. So the first thing I would do, let, let's try to hide her from Photoshop is what I'm thinking, right? Um, let's make it so Photoshop can't even see the subject um the i mean the at the most basic level you could take you know a paintbrush right and paint over the subject you might want to have a harder brush right and paint over these parts right and see what it will do right but there's really a more eloquent eloquent way to do this let's just start with the quick selection tool which is this one here right and we go up and we choose select subject see where i'm going with this so you could refine your selection. Obviously, there's areas here, maybe the floor here that you wouldn't want to get. We're not going to get into that just for the sake of time. So we've got her selected, right? And so what I want to do is isolate her from the background. So I'm going to right click on the selection and I'm going to choose select inverse. Now I have the background selected. She's not selected at all. So let's just come down here and let's click on our background layer and do a control J. And that's going to duplicate that background layer. And I don't know if you can see it, but she's missing from that background because when we duplicated that background, we had, or we duplicated that background layer, we had just the background selected and not her. And what it did was created a mask. So you'll be able to see that here. I'm going to turn off the background by clicking the little eyeball here. So now we can go through and maybe make a selection here and see what it will do right and instead of selecting the subject let's make the selection okay so now we'll choose generative fill again and i feel like it's not going to be totally clean over here maybe i should have just come right in here um, and got all of this and not included any of that but let's just see very good all right that did 
really what I wanted it to before it complained at me, you know. So now what do we do? Um, it did a really good job of replacing the backdrop, cleaning that up, removing all the distractions. So let's turn on the background layer and boom, we're there. We got no error. We got no anything. Looks pretty good. So we, you know, obviously depending on what photo you're using, you know, you're going to make some more edits, right? Like I'd probably, this is the lines across here. I'll probably use the remove tool and uh, maybe some other things, patch tool and whatever I need to use to clean this up. But look at that. I mean, that's originally what I wanted uh, before I had to go through all this. And I guess I got a video out of it. <laughs> so give it, give it a like, give me a subscribe. It really helps the video to get seen. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Like they just don't, the algorithm doesn't like me anymore. I get some, sometimes a hundred views. I'm not complaining, but I kind of am because it's just a lot of effort that goes into these things. And then, you know, it goes out that, you know, a hundred people see it. So I, I'm really contemplating on how many more videos I'm actually going to make for YouTube and how much content I'm going to make for them because it's getting to be where the time is not even worth it. So rant over, not an emotional response, um, a rational response um, because I'm not getting in return uh, anything near what I'm giving, right? And so at that point, you got to think, why am I even doing this? So not begging or anything like that. If you liked it, give it a like. That's all I'm saying. You guys have a good day.